is going on everybody? Gamus here and welcome to this new video. Today I'll be showing you something very long awaited. The exposed framework running on Lollipop. Now basically what you have to do is go in the description of this video and go straight to the XDA forum post where you will find the uh, zip installer that you have to flash with your recovery, the new installer APK and the information you need like the known issues and basically every update that will come out will be uh, detailed in that thread. But that's enough for talking, let's get into it. So as I said, the first thing you have to do is jump to the XDA thread following the link in the description. Here you'll find some different files to download, the exposed ARM zip file, this is the one you have to flash for your custom recovery, and the exposed installer APK. So you flash the zip file, reboot your phone, install the APK, and you're all set. Now, if you open up Exposed Installer in the Framework section, you'll see that Exposed is up and running. But as now, there is no way to install it directly from this app. No matter what install option you choose, it's not gonna work. I have installed two modules to showcase Exposed. One is Exposed Gel Settings, the other one is this YouTube Background Playback module. So let's get to the first one. Here you see the app is working, you can customize some options, enable some tweaks and so on. The tweaks apparently work fine, no huge problem so far. You see here I customized the app drawer with some random colors and it's working. This module apparently adds some quick options for the home screen icons like fast uninstall button and everything seems to be working flawlessly. Now, the YouTube background playback module works too. The sound stops playing as you get out of YouTube, but give it a couple of seconds and it will start playing in the background. Now, this module feels pretty buggy, but I'm not sure if it's a problem of the whole framework which is still in Alpha 1, or a specific module problem. Anyway, it's not terrible. It's perfectly usable, actually. As you've seen, Exposed on Lollipop doesn't have that much to offer. Basically, the modules I've shown off are the ones that I was sure they would work because they're not too deep into the system. Many Exposed tweaks act directly into the system, so they are built around uh, or Jelly Bean or KitKat or any lower version of Android, but since Exposed for Lollipop just came out, any tweaks related to the system UI and to the system in general are probably not working or not worth trying because they could just screw up your ROM and that's really likely to happen. Now, to know what modules you can use on Lollipop as now, you just have to use some common sense. For instance, if I have an exposed module to have some WhatsApp uh, tweak, I can probably use it both on Lollipop and on KitKat and older versions of Android. But if I have a tweak that, that let's say, uh, changes the behavior of the navbar, that will probably not work because uh, of many changes made in the navbar code in Android Lollipop. So as now, just stick to simple things, just stick to apps modifications, like uh, I've shown off exposed gel settings and the YouTube uh, background play, something like that, because I was sure those would work because they're not going to heavily modify the system or do any trickery in the system itself, but just edit the behavior of some apps that are available both on KitKat and on Lollipop. So guys, this is gonna wrap up the video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Please press the like button if you did, and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. I just opened a Google Plus community for tech deals. So if you want to join that too, you're welcome. You can basically share your opinions, suggestions, thoughts on everything about this channel and technology in general. So maybe you just want to hang out there. I'd be very happy if you join 
this community too. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.